Niobrara's DEB can quickly connect Cymax PLCs to Modbus TCP Ethernet. The DEB is mounted on standard DIN rail and is powered by 24 volts DC. The front panel keypad is used to change the configuration. Serial port 1 will be connected to a Model 650 PLC. The protocol is changed to Cymax for direct connection to the processor. Most settings can be left at their default values. The port driver is set to RS-422. Drop 101 will be fine. Port 2 will be connected to a Model 300 PLC. Again, Cymax mode and RS-422 are chosen. Drop 102 is fine. The Ethernet port will be set to an IP address of 10.10.10.23. The subnet mask and default gate do not need to be changed in this example. We will also demonstrate programming with WinMate, so the Ethernet protocol will be changed to Modbus plus Cymax. The drop number sets the Cymax Ethernet node and it's changed to 12. It's important to set these values before connecting the Ethernet cable to avoid duplicate addresses. The Modbus routes for the Ethernet port must be modified to access the PLCs. We choose index 1 to point to the model 650. The new route is simply 101. Change the type to other. Now select test to try the connection. A timeout error is posted because we have not connected the serial cables. The Niobrara MU7 cable is used to connect the DEB to a standard Cymax port. DEB's port 1 is connected to the model 650. Port 2 of the DEB is connected to the model 300. Now is a good time to connect the Ethernet. Now the test shows a Model 655. We will set Index 2 to point to the Model 300 by choosing a route of 102. The test shows a model 323. We will use NRD tool to demonstrate Modbus TCP connections. Open a new connection to the IP address of the DEB. Select 4X for the register type. The slave address for the Model 650 is 1. Now we see the registers in the PLC. Looking at register 8188 shows the PLC type as a Model 655. Make a new connection to slave 2 to see the Model 300. Again, we see it's a Model 323. The DEB can communicate with both devices at the same time. WinMate can also connect to both PLCs through the DEB. The route will be 97 for the PC, 12 for the DEB, 101 for the 650, and 255 because WinMate always needs a 255 at the end of the route. Yes, it is a 655. The latter program can now be accessed.
Just change the drop to 102 to get to the Model 300. Now let's try it with some NIMS. Port 2 of the DEB is connected to the bottom port of the NIM on the right. The Model 300 is connected to the top port of the same NIM. The Model 650 is connected to the bottom port of the NIM on the left. We see that the left NIM is at address 14, while the right NIM is at 15. Now we set port 2 of the DEB to net-to-net -net mode and adjust the drop number to 115 to match the NIM. The Ethernet Modbus, Modbus routes will need to be adjusted. Index 1 will now need to be 115-114 to reach the Model 650. Testing the route gives an error 29, which means illegal route. This is because the NIM port is still in CIMAX mode and needs to be changed to net to net The NIM ports are configured with DIP switches on the back of the card. net to net needs settings of 0, 1, so we need to move the switch for the bottom port. Now the DEB and NIM ports are both set to net to net drop 115. Running the test again now shows a good connection to the Model 650. The route for the Model 300 is 115.15. Again, we can connect with NRD tool using Slave 1 to reach the Model 650. Slave 2 reaches the Model 300. The WinMate route is now 97 for the PC, 12 for the DEB, 115 for the net to net and then 114 for the Model 650, and again 255 to end the route.
To reach the model 300, we just need to change 114 to 15. Please visit www.niobrara.com for more information.